Leadership advantage isn't some magic trick or silver bullet to instant success, but we're sharing the trivia, tips, tales and troubles of the behavioural neuroscience of expert leadership so that you can unlock your talent, unstuck your true potential and unleash your performance so that you can have joy at work and your team has unity of cohesion and effort to achieve good success. Coaching is about change. There are no such things as wrong turns, only paths we never knew we were supposed to take. An old proverb. Advantage coaching is about change. Change is the only constant, goes the refrain. There will be little need for coaching, training, mentoring, counselling or any development if people were happy to stay the same as they are now. Being coached by someone is all about being empowered, equipped and enabled to change. Coaching empowers people to find new jobs, work through transitions, enhance performance, build better relationships, make wise decisions, transform organisations and reach new spiritual levels. Coaching is about establishing a vision of the future and reaching goals. When coaching is successful, it's about bringing and maintaining change. But coaching is more. We also help people determine what needs to stay the same in times of constant flux. We encourage our clients to stake out their core values, establish their strengths, their basic beliefs, ethical principles and the lasting relationships that remain firm and provide an anchor to their lives. Coaches are both change agents and constant agents. Coaches help people see what needs to change and what needs to remain constant. Change is difficult. Let's start by recognising the obvious. Change is difficult. Going on a journey with people through change can be challenging and exhausting. Bringing sustainable change is even harder. Most people resist change even when they see the need and believe it can occur. owner of the first hotel I managed was just 40 years old when he suffered a heart attack. His lifestyle, the booze, food and a lack of regular exercise were contributory factors. But prior to the heart attack, he had no significant symptoms. Life was good then, damn. He was on the floor in agony. He survived. His doctor told him bluntly that he had to change his diet Give up alcohol, smoking, and take up regular exercise. Change or die. A stark choice. And what the many people face. Initially, my boss came out of the hospital ready and eager to take this advice seriously and changed everything that was harming his health. It wasn't easy for him, but he stuck with it and now enjoys a slim, healthy life, retired and sailing around the Mediterranean. Yet in the US alone, some 90% of heart bypass patients cannot change their lifestyles, even at the risk of dying. It's not surprising then that changing people's behavior in business is a bit of a challenge. How people face change People respond to change typically in four different ways, depending on their personalities and their past experience and the way they construct what's happening. There are innovators. These are people who value change and often try to make it happen. Secondly, we have embracers. 
Embracers thrive on change and accept it with enthusiasm, sometimes without thinking too much about it. Then there are acceptors, who initially resist change but eventually go along with it because, well, there's no alternative. And fourthly, the resistors, who may not even notice the change, deliberately ignore it, or they're so overwhelmed that they push it out of their awareness. Some even deny they need to change and refuse to budge an inch. And people usually lean towards one of these responses. There's some excellent news though. Simply because you are listening to this, you are likely to be an innovator or embracer. If you're listening to this reluctantly, you're an acceptor. And those who aren't listening, well, they're resistors. But of course they won't know that because they're not listening to it. Thanks for listening to this edition of the Leadership Advantage. If you'd like to learn more about how you can unlock your talent, unstuck your potential, and unleash your performance so that you can have joy at work and your team can have cohesion of unity and effort for good success, then visit us at leadershipadvantage.com.